Hi guys, welcome back. I don't normally do this political stuff, but I woke up a couple of days ago to this. I'm sorry! No! 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 And this morning I woke up to this. Now the first one I get, I understand that you're upset um, and you're um, going to go viral, that's maybe what you wanted. The second one, unbelievably insensitive. You know, um, my wife suffered from cancer, all of her hair fell out. Um, one of the worst times that we had in that whole, whole process was when she came to me after having had a shower and unfortunately the only likeness that I can relate it to is she looked like Gollum from Lord of the Rings with little wisps of hair left on her head and the rest of the hair was collected in the bottom of the shower. And she came to me and she asked me to shave the rest of her head. Now for somebody to say that they're going to shave their head because Donald Trump won the election and this was going to make them unattractive to men. Shame on you. Shame on you, you piece of shit. You absolute f piece of shit. You know, there are hundreds of thousands of families who have gone through the trauma of a cancer um, developing with with one of their family members. It is particularly devastating for women when they have their cancer treatment and their hair falls out and to have you piece of shit say, I'm gonna shave my head because then I will be unattractive to, to men is saying to all of those people that during their cancer treatment, they were unattractive to men and that is just bullshit. You know, I love my wife, no matter whether she's got hair or not, whether she would, you know, maybe she would have needed a mastectomy. She didn't, well, luckily. But for you to go out and say, I'm going to shave my head to make myself look unattractive to men, that's just bullshit. That's an absolute cop out, you self-centered piece of shit. Many families have suffered with um, cancer scares, with their children, with their wives, with their husbands, with their sons. Um, to do something like that shows that you have no thought or consideration to any of those people. And it just shows that you're not a particularly nice person and that you're very self-centered and everything is all about you. So go fuck yourself to the moon. Now a lot of families when they have gone through something with regard to a cancer scare like this, the children will cut their hair and they'll donate their hair to uh, the people that make the wigs and things like that. Um, my hair's getting pretty long. I'm growing my hair um, for the next 18 months. Uh, when it comes to be cut off, I'm going to see if the, um, the people who make the wigs will want my hair. My hair's pretty crappy though, they probably won't want it, but at least I'll give them the opportunity to, to see if they want it. I presume you all just threw yours in the bin because you're self-centered, horrible people. Another thing that we are prepared to do is if we ever become monetized, we will donate 50% of all of our earnings from YouTube to cancer related society for the, either the benefit of cancer sufferers or uh, for research. Now we're prepared to do that and make that commitment now. We may never become monetized. Maybe we, we will, I don't know, but that's our commitment. As to the rest of you that are doing this um, cutting my hair because Donald Trump won, fuck off. <laughs>